Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. A wild last 24 hours in the college football landscape. Obviously, Nick Saban, the greatest of all time, retiring in Alabama in the Pandora's box, if you will, opened up in terms of coaching candidates that would take over the job at Tuscaloosa. And Dan Landing, what was probably the most popular name as being the next man in Tuscaloosa to take over this program. Late last night, you saw people tracking flights. You saw rumors breaking that Dan Lanning was in Tuscaloosa this morning. Reports are coming out. Dan Lanning all but confirmed it on his own personal Twitter, releasing a video. Dan Lanning staying in Eugene. For Oregon fans, you guys can tell I'm a little excited about this. I'm a Michigan fan, but I have been very vocal about how excited I am of what Dan Lanning can do in Eugene. Very exciting news for Oregon fans. Exciting news for Big Ten fans as well. Dan Lanning obviously making the move to the Big Ten. I want to talk a little bit about, one, Dan Lanning and what the ceiling is for this Oregon Ducks program and why I think it makes a ton of sense for Dan Lanning to stay right where it's at in Eugene. Before we get into it, just want to say thank you to you guys and a shout out to the Oregon fans. Obviously, massive news coming out this morning. Everyone can breathe a sigh of relief. You guys have shown a ton of support to the boys, whether we're tracking this team in the transfer portal, whether we're talking about what they're doing at the high school ranks. It's been a blast talking about this team the last couple of weeks, and I'm extremely excited that we can continue talking about Oregon with Dan Lanning at the helm in Eugene. If you all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, I want to get into a conversation that I had till probably two in the morning with a bunch of my buddies who were college football fans. And we were going back and forth arguing about should Dan Lanning take the job in Tuscaloosa? And I was kind of in the minority saying no. And okay, is there an argument to be made that that Alabama head coaching job and what Nick Saban has done, is that a premier job in college football? Absolutely it is. I think my argument would be, and this is nothing to take away from Nick Saban, this Alabama program and what they've done over the last decade and a half because we haven't seen anything like it in our sport, but I want to more focus on what can this Oregon program be under Dan Lanning over the next couple of years and throughout the next 10 years? Because it sounds like Dan Lanning, one thing that Oregon fans can be extremely excited about is one, that was home run hire two years ago. Bringing in Dan Lanning, I don't think there's a single Oregon fan that regrets that decision. This program is clearly going in the right direction, but what Oregon fans can be most excited about is there is no doubt in my mind It made sense for Alabama to go after Dan Lanning. If you were to ask me, and I'm an AD of the school, and I can pick any head coach to lead my program for the next decade, I mean, is Dan Lanning and Kirby Smart, obviously with Nick Saban going into retirement. And so it made a ton of sense for Alabama to go reach out and pursue a guy like Dan Lanning because he's truly one of the best head coaches in the country. But I want to get to what Dan Lanning can have this Oregon Ducks program looking like in the next couple of years because I think the runway is truly special. One, you take a look at what they've done on the high school trail, right? Bringing in a top three class in 2024, and it only seems like it's getting better for Dan Lanning. One, he's an elite recruiter. More importantly, he's an elite player developer. Like if you go to Oregon, a lot of these kids grew up wanting to play for Oregon, and now you have a head coach that has proven to develop you into an NFL talent, that has proven to give you the opportunity to compete for conference titles and compete for national titles. He has in Eugene everything he needs to make this program and to make this team one of the the best programs in teams that we see in college football. I think it's really, really damn close already, but I think Dan Lanning is the guy to get this program right to the lights of Alabama, of Ohio State, of Georgia, of Michigan. So for Oregon fans, one, you're extremely excited about what the future of this program looks like, but more importantly, Dan Lanning in the last two months, I th- I would guess has gotten interest from the Texas A&M job and the Alabama job. And those are two of the most attractive head coaching jobs that you can have in the country. Dan Lanning has said, no, I am happy right where I'm at in Eugene. So if you're an Oregon fan and you were concerned about your head coach getting poached to another school, that doesn't look like it's happening. Because there's not many other jobs that he can turn down that are more lucrative and more attractive than Alabama and Texas A&M. And so I think, one, Oregon fans extremely excited about keeping Dan Lanning in the fold for a long time. But more importantly, the conversation that I want to have is, what can this program look like 
over the next five years. And I've been very vocal about Oregon coming to the Big Ten. And as a Michigan fan, it almost hurts me to say it at times. I would see myself right now, if you were to ask me who is winning the Big Ten Conference next year, I have to make my prediction. I think I'm taking the Oregon Ducks. And you look at the future of this program, what it's going to look like in 2024. One, I'd argue that it has the best quarterback room in the conference. Right, Ohio State went out and got Will Howard. That's a nice get. That's a solid quarterback. Penn State has Drew Aller. Washington went out and got Will Rogers. Michigan might have J.J. McCarthy, might not. But even with J.J. McCarthy, Dylan Gabriel, one of the most productive quarterbacks that we've seen at the FBS live years. And then you have Dante Moore, arguably one of the most talented quarterbacks that we have in the country. So not only do they definitely have a starting quarterback that is extremely quality in 2024 in Dylan Gabriel, but in 2025 and in 2026, you're probably trotting out a guy like Dante Moore. And so you look at this program and the runway and what this team can be in 2024, one quarterback is a massive check. They return both their offensive tackles who are only going to get better. That offensive line looks extremely good. Jordan James and Noah Whittington in the backfield. That is a very good running back room. You have Ferguson, Tez Johnson, Trayshawn Holden all coming back in 2024 at the wide receiver position. That certainly looks like a very, very good wide receiver room, potentially adding a guy like Evan Stewart. And then you look at the defense, and this defense is going to continue to improve under Dan Lanning. You look at this Oregon team, I think it's not crazy to say they'll be not only the best team in the Big Ten, but one of the best teams in the entire country. I don't have to remind Oregon fans, your only two losses were to the runner-up in the national championship, the Washington Huskies, where they played their best football both games against Oregon. This is an Oregon team that in a lot of different realities was competing for college football play and in the college football playoffs and competing for national championship. And so what does the future look like for Dan Lanning? And I would encourage Oregon fans to go watch that video Dan Lanning just put out because it'll get you fired up. You guys can tell I'm a little fired up about it. This program checks so many boxes. And I think another thing, too, that is important to remind, and Oregon fans certainly know this, I don't know if uh, national college football fans do, is many of these kids in high school grew up watching these Oregon offenses being some of the most explosive and exciting offenses that you saw across the country. This is a program that I think you could argue is one of the most attractive programs to go play for. And now you have a guy like Dan Landing, who, again, has proven to win in a lot of football games, letting you compete for conference titles and national titles, but also developing you into the NFL. I think Oregon checks every single box that you need to be checked in terms of being a premier program that can compete year in, year out for a national championship. And I, I'm going to be quite frank. There are just not a lot of programs that can sell you that, that can give you that. Alabama was certainly one of them. But Dan Lanning turning down that job to stay in Eugene, I think, shows what he thinks this program can be. If Dan Lanning didn't think this program could be a premier program in college football, he would probably be leaving for the Alabama job or maybe even left for the Texas A&M job. I think this tells you that Dan Lanning, he, he, he has the vision and he has everything he needs to have that vision come into a reality. Oregon sounds like they're keeping Dan Lanning. You look at the runway for this team, quarterbacks check the talent in the high school recruiting trail. They had their best high school class, I believe they've ever had in 2024. And it seems like it's only going to get better in 2025. And obviously with Nick Saban leaving Alabama, I think there's a massive opportunity for a lot of programs like Oregon to kind of get into that upper echelon of college football. You guys can tell I'm excited, right? And like Dan Landing, it, it was a home run hire two years ago. And it seems like this is a program that, again, if you were to ask me to buy stock in a program for the next five years and say, what program are we going to be talking about a little bit differently in five years from what we are now? It's probably the Oregon Ducks. And this is a program that's going in the right direction. Many of you guys who've been listening for the last couple of weeks know how excited I am for this, pro for this program and what it can be. Checks all the boxes. They got their head man. Sounded like staying for a long, long time. And it sounds like as long as Eugene will have Dan Lanning, Dan Lanning will be in Eugene because, again, he just turned down Texas A&M and Alabama. Those were two of the most attractive head coaching jobs that you can have in college football, fired up for. You don't see this very often, right? You don't see coaches and players staying and not leaving for what they might think is a greener pasture. I think Oregon, what did Dan Lanning say in that video? The grass ain't always greener. 
I think he's got some green grass in Oregon. I think he's excited to build on that grass. Man, I am fired up. Dan Lanning staying in Eugene. Apparently, the reports of him being in Tuscaloosa, he was just at home in Eugene watching Jason Bourne with his family. You cannot love this guy. Really, really excited again. Appreciate the Oregon fans rocking with the boys. Wanted to hop on, talk about this, and give you guys some of my takes on what this Oregon program can be. And again, I think from a lot of perspectives, you could say, yeah, this Alabama job is the pinnacle of being a college football head coach. I would say Oregon. We can be talking the same thing about Oregon in the next five years. We'll see what Dan Lanning can do. You guys know I'm fired up. Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys. If you guys do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. We'll continue to update you guys. Transfer commits, high school commits. It's been a blast, and we'll talk to y'all later.